Hello, it's me again, Lara. Are there vibration marks on your component, squeaking noises, or is the tool breaking away? If the milling cutter does not run smoothly, this can have unpleasant consequences. In today's episode of Chips and Tricks, I will show you which chucks you can use to avoid this in the future. If your cutter is not running smoothly, it may sometimes be enough to play with the parameters. For example, the feed rate, infeed rate, and speed. However, if you still can't get the problem under control, the right chuck can help. I will now explain how different clamping devices affect the milling process. The HPC power chuck impresses with its very quiet running properties. A slight cheeping sound can be heard just before the cutter leaves the component again. This is caused by the decreasing cutting pressure that occurs when the feed rate decreases. The milling cutter cuts itself free and the chips become thinner. Let's look at the welding chuck with its straight shank holder. In this case, the milling cutter is only clamped at one point by a lateral clamping screw. This leaves more clearance for the milling cutter, which you can clearly hear both when drilling in and cutting free. When drilling in, the milling cutter must first build up cutting pressure and press the play out of the holder. This produces a loud noise. The noise can also be clearly heard when cutting free. If the cutting pressure decreases, the milling cutter gains more space again through the play. This chuck is therefore a little more unsteady when drilling in and cutting free. Nevertheless, you can achieve a high level of smoothness during the milling process, as with the HPC power chuck. Let's look at what happens when we opt for a less rigid holder, like the hydraulic expansion chuck, for example. If you use large milling cutters, we advise against using this chuck. Too much radial load is applied in this case. Although the hydraulic expansion chuck offers good damping, it is too elastic to absorb the high milling forces. As the milling cutter drills in, there will be squeaking and whistling noises as well as vibrations. The reason for this is a lack of rigidity. Unfortunately, it doesn't help to play around with the parameters in this case, such as the feed rate or the rotational speed. This is because the problem is caused by the holder. The shrink fit chuck is cost effective, easy to use and therefore very popular. You can also achieve a nice milling process with small milling cutters. However, this does not apply for larger milling cutters as the milling forces generated are too high and lead to a similar level of vibrations as the hydraulic expansion chuck. The slim contour of the shrink fit chuck improves accessibility to the workpiece, but like the hydraulic expansion chuck does not provide enough rigidity to absorb the milling forces. So we can conclude that the chuck has a big impact on the milling process. If you have difficulties with vibration marks, it is best to use HPC power chucks or welding chucks with straight shank holders. Hydraulic expansion chucks and shrink fit chucks are less suitable for a smooth milling process as these two chucks are less rigid. That's why my chip tip for the best possible milling process is, with HPC power chucks, you can achieve a longer tool life, shorter cycle times and an improved milling performance.